This video is brought to you by mywayteaching.com. Next question, next problem is when electromagnetic radiation of wavelength 300 nanometer falls on the surface of sodium, electrons are emitted with a kinetic energy of 1.68 into 10 raise to 5 joule per mole. So, what is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the sodium? Okay, and what is the maximum wavelength that will cause a photoelectric to be emitted? What they are asking minimum energy means E. What is the E required? What is the energy required to remove the gun? What is the maximum wavelength? Lambda they are asking. Okay. So in that they, they have given 300 nanometer of wavelength magnetic radiation and the kinetic energy of this. Okay. By using this how can we calculate? Let's see. I will solve the problem. Solution. Okay. So here the energy of a 300 nanometer photon the energy of the they have given right 300 nanometer photon how to calculate energy of 300 nanometer you know e is equal to hv and also you know h is h into c by lambda right so just by applying this formula e is equal to h means what is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 okay joule second into c into 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second and the wavelength they have given 300 nanometer so calculating this how much you are getting energy means 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule the energy you are obtaining the energy of one mole of photon so here 300 okay so what is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the sodium that we have to calculate so energy you have to convert it into mole one mole convert into mole means you know one mole 6.022 into 10 raise to 23 per mole so i in the previous example i explained how to convert this energy into mole just multiply this value into one mole means mole 6. Point, how much 022 6.022 just you should remember all these things they will not give anything for you so and uh, how much you are getting 3.99 into 10 raise to 5 joule per mole so this is the means uh, if you are converting energy into mole okay so energy of one mole of photon this is energy of energy of one mole of photon okay and the next is the minimum energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from the sodium the question is minimum energy the minimum energy okay the minimum energy needed to remove the minimum energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from sodium one you now you got one mole of electron from sodium you know how to uh, you just now you know one mole of photon value energy of one mole of photon value so that uh, one mole of photon and one mole of electron so that you are just 3.99 you obtain 3.99 into 10 raise to 5 joule per okay so minus sodium what they have given they have given the sodium is equal to 1.68 into 10 raise to 5 so here 3.99 10 raise to 5 so that you just subtracting this value so how much you are obtaining um, 2.31 into 10 raise to 5 joule per mole so this is the minimum energy needed to remove one mole of electrons from the sodium that is the first question okay and the second one is so the minimum energy for one electron the next one how to calculate 
what is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the sodium one mole of electron from the sodium now you got the first question what they have asked the minimum energy needed to remove an electron only one electron for removing only one electron how now you calculated for one mole of electron one mole of electron removing from sodium one means so just mole is there so 2.31 into 10 raised to 5 joule per mole is there so divided by electron per mole 6 point again you divide it 10 raised to 23 electrons per mole how much you are getting 3.84 into 10 raised to minus 19 joule so this one the first answer first you have to calculate for one mole after that you have to calculate for only one electron okay so the wavelength this corresponds to the wavelength the second question they are asking what is the wavelength correct so wavelength is equal to now h c divided by e formula applying the value of h is Planck's constant uh, 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 joule second uh, see here 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 so 3 into 10 raised to 8 meter per second what is the energy you have obtained 2.31 correct no energy you have obtained how much here is the answer 3.24 into 10 raised to minus 19 3.84 into 10 raised to minus 19 so for this how what you are obtaining 517 nanometer is the answer okay so once again i will explain you this problem so that you will understand easily uh, see they have given 300 nanometer of the surface of sodium wavelength of 300 nanometer so electron its kinetic energy is this much what is the minimum energy needed to remove an electron from the sodium so what is the maximum wavelength they have asking about the energy so first i have explained you what to how to calculate the energy to remove one mole of electron from the sodium first you calculate for one mole of electron then for one electron how to calculate then the wavelength okay so this is e is equal to hv then calculation of this part you will get elect energy okay so by using this formula you are calculating the energy required 300 nanometer photon so enough after that the uh, the converting this energy to mole you are getting the one energy of remove the energy required to remove one mole of electron uh, that you have uh, solved next to the in minimum energy required needed to remove one mole of electron is this okay they have given the value of sodium so just uh, this is uh, subtracting of 3.99 into 1.685 so you are obtaining this value how to remove one only one electron means just dividing this so you are getting this one next is electron per mole uh, this is the second one lambda is equal to hc by e so you the last answer is 517 nanometer okay and the next problem is the threshold frequency v naught you know v naught means threshold below which electrons will not emit for a metal of 7.0 into 10 raised to 14 per second this is the frequency calculate the kinetic energy of an electron emitted when radiation of frequency v is equal to 1.0 into 10 raised to 15 per second hits the metal so according to einstein's equation kinetic energy according to einstein's equation kinetic energy is given by 1 by 2 m e v naught square okay so 1 by 2 you know or you can and also wait so h v minus v naught so according the kinetic energy of einstein so how you can calculate now you know value of h is 6.626 into 10 raised to minus 34 okay where v is 
they have given value of v 1.0 into 10 raise to 15 per second minus v naught is 7.0 into 10 raise to 14 per second so after the calculation of all this you are getting 1.988 into 10 raise to minus 19 job this is the answer for this problem okay